Okay, so welcome to part 16 of Learn Go. In this video, we're going to be covering recursion, specifically how to implement a recursive function in Go. So just as a refresher, a recursive function is one that calls itself continually until it reaches a base case. So the problem that we'll be focused on as an example to illustrate a recursive function in Go is the problem of computing the factorial of a number. And just as a refresher there, the factorial of the number n, usually denoted as n exclamation point, is equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 all the way down to times 1. So for instance, the factorial, if we computed 5 factorial, that's equal to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So this type of problem has kind of a natural recursive structure to it, and that will kind of make the illustration of computing a recursive function in Go pretty easy to do. So I'm also going to assume that you've seen recursion before in some form or another. Maybe it's in another programming language. If you need more of a focus on recursion itself. I have a playlist on recursion that I encourage you to check out, although the language there is based on Python. But I go into more depth in terms of certain problems that you can solve using recursion and in some more advanced topics. But for the purposes of this video, we just want to see how one can implement a recursive function in Go. So we'll keep it simple. So let's go ahead and implement the factorial function. So we'll say func and then we'll call this fact for factorial. This will take an integer, which will denote as n. The type will be an integer, and the return type will also be of an integer. And inside of this function, we'll basically just do two things. We'll check if our base case has been met. So the base case in this scenario is if n is equal to one, or specifically if it's less than or equal to one, then we'll return one, and otherwise we'll make use of our recursive call to the function. So if the base case is hit, we return one. Otherwise, we make a recursive call, which is calling the function itself. So we'll return n times fact of n minus one. So every time we call this recursive, this, this factorial function recursively, we're decreasing the value of n. So the size of n the value of n is decrementing on every single time we do that. And we're, we're doing that until we hit our base case. And that's going to be the end of the function that's going to get us out of the function so we don't get infinite recursion. So we're going to go to our main function here. And then we're going to start just by calling our factorial function. So we're going to say format.println. And we're going to call the fu factorial function with an argument of, let's say, 5. So we'll go ahead and write that. We'll clear the screen. And then we'll say go run, and then this file is called 16 underscore recursion dot go. And I believe the Python in me is getting the better of me here. I put a colon here when I should have put a brace. So you'll have to excuse me when I do that. I am switching between Python and Go. So I may do that from time to time. So my apologies there. Switch that to a brace for the if statement and then go ahead and try to run this again. And we get that five factorial is 120. So that's it. We just wanted to see a quick and easy example of how to implement a recursive function and to note that Go does support recursive functions. So that pretty much does it for this video here. If you have any questions or comments or anything like that, leave them in the comment section below. If you want, I'll also leave a link to the recursion playlist, which is in Python, if you want more information on recursion and how to use it to solve various problems. And as always, the code for this video and all my videos will be hosted on my GitHub link, and I can provide that in the description as well. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.